Michael Jackson spent part of this Easter Sunday talking to the Reverend Jesse Jackson on his radio show as the Jackson defense team prepares for a crucial day in court tomorrow. Here's NBC's Mark Mullen. None of these stories are true. It totally fabricated. By phone, Michael Jackson appeared on the Reverend Jesse Jackson's national radio program to say he was innocent and to hint that his legal troubles might be part of a conspiracy by those who would like control over Jackson's valuable music rights, including songs by the Beatles and Elvis. And it's a huge catalog. It's very valuable. It's worth a lot of money. And there is a big fight going on right now as we speak about that. Now, I can't say whether or not. I can't comment on it. There's a lot of conspiracy. Jackson also said he was the latest black luminary to weather false allegations, comparing his troubles to those of Nelson Mandela. In the end, I'll be vindicated, I pray, because I know the truth. Meanwhile, tomorrow could be a turning point in Jackson's molestation trial. A judge will consider whether similar prior allegations against Jackson should be considered by the jury. I am totally innocent of any wrongdoing. This was Jackson in 1993, after molestation allegations by a 12-year-old made their way into the press. Jackson settled that suit reportedly for $20 million while admitting no wrongdoing. He now says he should have fought. Prosecutors did not pursue the 1993 case after the accuser refused to testify. But a law now on California's books could bring this allegation and any others up at trial. What the prosecutors want to do in this case is basically show Michael Jackson to be a serial child molester. And they can do that if the judge makes this key ruling. To do that, the judge must determine that any prior allegation would not unfairly prejudice the jury against Jackson. That's precisely what his lawyers plan to aggressively argue. Mark Mullen, NBC News, Los Angeles.